Hello everyone, Lucas Hanneman here, and welcome to this week's episode of Guitar Tone Tuesday, on which I will try to justify to you and to myself why I currently own three Telecasters. If that's something that interests you, if you're a gear addict like me, please do like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell. Now we're going to go from most traditional to least traditional here. This first guitar is a wonderful G&L parts caster guitar that I featured on this show before. This guitar has two of G&L's MFD pickups, and it started life as a, as a G&L tribute guitar, like I say, so it, it was made in Korea. My parents got this for me as a high school graduation gift, but uh, at a certain point down the road, I changed the body to a Polonia body, so it's very lightweight, and I put a black guard on it to make it look like a black guard. So uh, here, let's hear some sounds. Now, for today, I'm just gonna go directly into my Kingsley Bailey 30. It's a four EL84 power tube section amplifier, and here are some sounds. So starting off on the bridge pickup. guitar because to me like I say there's a traditional telly thing as well as I need it to you know um, these are slightly hotter single coil pickups but I really like the sound of them and if I need that really traditional sound I just roll back that volume control a little bit but to me with the maple neck maple fingerboard this does the traditional telly thing and I really enjoy it for that reason okay let's move on to guitar number two the second least traditional guitar here this one is a longtime friend of mine, and for those of you who have been following the channel for a while, you probably know this guitar. This is my Jesse Brown Brown Bear um, Telecaster style guitar. It's made by Jesse Brown from Toronto, Ontario. Now, this guitar, fairly traditional, except for the fact that one, it's got two Gretsch HS Filtertron pickups, and two, it's got a rosewood fingerboard, so not your 50s style tell, but there are things that kind of make it like a 50s style tell in the fact that it's got an ash body and a nice chunky maple neck here. Okay, so here we go. Here are some sounds on this guitar. Again, starting up on that neck pickup. <laughs> So to me, these Filtertron pickups are great because one, they're noiseless. Two, they sound fantastic. It's a real cross between a traditional single coil and a PAF style humbucker. Uh, I like this guitar because to me it's just a little bit warmer than a, a single coil guitar. It's a little bit warmer um, than the uh, previous Telecaster I showed you guys. But it also has its own sound and you know, there's nothing like a Gretsch pickup. It's really doing its own thing. And I, I, I really do enjoy that. I find these pickups actually very versatile. Lots of people say that, you know, you only use them for certain styles like rockabilly, but I, I, I love this guitar for blues. I love this guitar for country. It's been on a lot of records I've made. So I love this instrument and it's a longtime friend. Okay, let's move to my newest friend, the least traditional telly that I own. This is my Melanson Custom Artist T made by Gerard Melanson from Thibodeau, Louisiana. So this guitar to me is kind of like a Les Paul trapped in a Tele body, almost mixed with a Strat at the same time. Beautiful, beautiful flame maple top. Two of Gerard's own PAF pickups. So to me, that's really the differentiator here. And um, this body, although it looks almost like mahogany, it's actually swamp ash with a dark stain. 
The neck here is roasted maple, so very stable. Nice chunky neck as well. I'd say it's between the, the sides of the necks on the other two tellies. It's, it's big, but not too huge, but very comfy. Fills the hand nicely. And we've got a Pow Farrow fingerboard here with stainless steel fret wire. I love these stainless steel frets. So far, I've had this guitar since March, and they're really not showing any signs of wear whatsoever. So I'm really loving this guitar. Okay, let's hear some tones. Again, starting on the bridge pickup. Certainly one of the most stable guitars I own. I love the the way this guitar feels. It just feels fantastic and it resonates so well acoustically. It's got so much sustain. Um, it's very lightweight and only weighs about six pounds, three ounces. The first telly I showed you, the parts caster, and then this one are, I think, the lightest two guitars I own that are solid body guitars. I mean, they're just extremely lightweight. So in the comment section below, Please let me know which one of these guitars did you prefer the most. Let me know, are you a guitar addict like me? Do you have a guitar addiction? Do you have more than one of a certain model of guitar that you love? Okay, that's it for this week. Thanks so much. See you guys and girls again next Tuesday.